The Trinity Boy Wolf Drawing Prize as a project uh, began in 1994 and it began as an artist-led initiative, it began in an art school and it began at what is now the University of Gloucestershire where I was then head of painting. Um, it was established partly because it was really difficult to see contemporary drawings, it was partly that as an artist who drew, my co-founder Paul Thomas also drew, many of our colleagues made drawings, but actually it was very difficult to find anywhere to show them, it was also very difficult to talk to students uh, about drawings that were being made now, and in the now, then. Um, and in 1994, the programme at what was Cheltenham School of Art um, had a structured drawing programme as its beginning because we felt that drawing was a vital means of communication and expression and that students needed to understand the different systems of drawing and the way that drawing was applied throughout history and in contemporary drawing. So teaching students how to draw without examples that were live or could be seen in contemporary galleries seemed to be a challenge. Um, we had the opportunity to take on a project that had started and we redevised it from the perspective of, we redevised it with the students and as artists to think about what would make a good open exhibition project, knowing that open exhibitions are a way that artists and others get their work in front of people who are experts in the field who may see their work, because once you leave art school, it's very difficult. The response to the first year of doing it in 1994 was phenomenal. Uh, we had, I think, around 700 submissions from get-go, completely from making a decision to do this as a professional practice project and to celebrate the role and practice of drawing. Um, and also to think about who was drawing, where were they drawing, how were they drawing, what could we call a drawing? And actually that inquiry of what was drawing um, sits around the whole project because we have slippery definitions and again teaching drawing, having a vocabulary, having a discourse, having reference uh, to what drawing could be was really important. It's run since 1996 on a cycle where we do a call for entry early in the year, in the calendar year. We um, have all the work in um, submitted by June, July, so it's selected. We've always used the resources of art schools until the last three years, so we've used the studios to select in, and we've used that summer period to see all the work, to give students paid work experience, for them to gain academic credit from working on it, and to go see the whole process as witnesses, observers, participants. So they'll be learning about arts administration, technical handling, how people frame works, what people think about drawing, and getting to witness as silent observers uh, a selection process. So it's always had a, an educational space, it's own, so it's a rounded project in that sense. Um, and we've worked with phenomenal selectors. The selection process is really important for us. So the process is that works are presented to an amazing panel and they're presented with absolutely no information about them. We're really only interested in a drawing conveying its visual values, through its visual values, its intention, its appropriateness in form, subject, content, um, and the way that it actually elides all of those things to mean something that can be read without title without recourse to anything else and without anybody knowing who's made them. The main selection panel for the Trinity Boy Wolf 2020 was Sophia Howe, uh, curate, principal curator of the Cooper Gallery, uh, Ian McKeever the artist and Francis Morris, director of Take Modern. They see all the work in the reel and we lay the work out so that people can have a relationship with those drawings in the way that you would by entering a gallery. So we're not walking things by and people voting we're always encouraging a dialogue between those selectors, always trying to get different perspectives, different experiences, different kinds of people with an expertise and a joy, a passion for looking at drawing to come together to have that dialogue. In 2001, the Joe Charitable Foundation became the principal sponsor um, and they had funded by 2017 just short of a million pounds towards the project.
and we were really, really thrilled when we found uh, our new sponsor, After Joe, with the Trinity Boy Wolf Trust. So 2020 is a really special year for the project. Um, it's the 25th annual exhibition, so continuously consecutive annual shows. It's the third year of fantastic funding from our new sponsors, Trinity Boy Wolf Trust. And in this special year, before the pandemic, before lockdown happened, we'd made two key decisions. And one was to return to an international submission. In the year of Brexit, it seemed even more important to have no barriers, uh, to think about where people were drawing. I mean, drawing is a universal language. It's something that we use across cultures, across borders, across different domains in art and design and beyond. Um, and it seemed this was the moment uh, that we should return to our aspiration to, to reflect drawing practice wherever it was happening, well, interesting drawing practice wherever it could be through the framework of the project. The other fa brilliant thing that happened with Trinity Boy Wolf Trust is um, the Trust is, works with urban space management who operate uh, Trinity Boy Wolf Trust and Eric Reynolds, who heads up urban space management, is an incredible, passionate supporter of drawing. And he's really interested in the role of working drawings. So when we first became supported by the Trinity Boy Wolf Trust, a working drawing award was introduced. And we'd run it for two years, and we felt this was the year also to give it more profile. And while it had a selection, separate selection panel who looked at the drawings that had already been selected in 2019, we established a separate process for the working drawings so that we could think about drawing in art, design, science, engineering, architecture, wherever drawing is happening. So we had a separate selection panel. Uh, we had Sir Ian Blatchford, who's director of the Science Museum, Piers Goff, the architect, and Sophie McKinley, director of programme at V&A Dundee, who looked specifically at that aspect of the submission. And so there are nine drawings included in this show, including everything from moving image to student project work um, through to people making very detailed drawings for watch movements or for paintings or for architectural rendering in, and image reproduction. The remit is wide open, but the Working Drawing Award enabled us to really focus um, and think about what a working drawing can be. Now, anyone can put into the drawing prize. There are absolutely no restrictions. And now there are no international restrictions. There are no restrictions. Um, so anybody, anywhere, of any training, no training, any culture, any space in the world uh, is able to submit. So. The exhibition couldn't launch in London this year because we couldn't have a gathering and we'd launch over a two-day period for the project. So the other adjustment that we've made is that we will announce the awards in January at Trinity Boy Wharf when it goes there for exhibition. So normally we launch the exhibition, announce the awards and the show goes off on tour. It's already been to Drawing Projects UK uh, in Wiltshire, which is, they happened to be able to take it, or we happened to be able to take it. We were really fortunate to get an Arts Council grant to be able to open under the new conditions for that month, because we'd recognised that the change in what we'd anticipated would be okay by September, meant that we had a, a show sitting in storage until it would come to Cooper Gallery in November. And what's been really fantastic is, you know, nearly half of the artists came to Wiltshire in that time. It was before lockdown. We were just in the month. We could do it and we closed just as lockdown was announced. And what's been brilliant is we did a lot of online events that we wouldn't have done that meant that we had engagement from Panama, Israel, America, Australia, uh, Brazil, Portugal, Spain. You know, you, it was a truly international conversation uh, around drawing and incredibly um, rewarding to see that drawing community operate into a different space. There are lots of things that roll out of this, and one of the most rewarding things, I would say, is it rolls out as exhibitions, it rolls out as dialogue, but actually the, the, the real thing was the community. Um, and the thing that I find amazing about it um, is there is a community, and the community of artists in each year 
will quite often travel to every venue and they get a different set of networks happening. Uh, they'll meet across year to year. Um, and there is just a very fluid, beautiful dialogue that goes on. So this year feels, despite lockdown, like a, an incredibly celebratory year. I'm always humbled by people who submit their work. I'm humbled by the trust that we have, but, but that trust matters. So we try and do our best to create a place of respect, a place of value, and a place of celebration of drawing.